Good evening. Welcome to my second attempt to try and work out how to disassemble this watch movement. For anybody who wasn't watching, the sticking point at the end of the last one was that there was clearly some power left in the mainspring barrel here. The mainspring barrel, this is an automatic watch. It used to have an automatic winding movement here, which is now sitting here in the parts tray. It can also be wound by the stem here, but judging by the feel of it, it feels like it's very, very close to being fully wound. So I don't want to try and wind it any further for risk of doing some damage to it. I was looking for the click towards the end of the last episode, which I now have concluded is located here and is a round pin that's wedged between the two teeth there. Um, before I did the last video, that was a style of click that I was unfamiliar with. I think that's as close as the camera will focus. And I can't quite tell exactly how focused that is. So the click pin is just there. So I'm going to have to work out a way to hold it out of place so that I can let the barrel down. But I need to do that while having a secure grip on the winding stem. And that's working. Managed to get that to go a full turn. Okay, that is now fully unwound. The trick I've learned from other videos is that I don't want to wind it any further than fully down. Really. That wheel now seems to be loose, which may be part of the clutch mechanism for preventing overwinding. So now I can proceed with um, removing parts of the gear train.
is the first wheel removed. And that doesn't seem to want to come. Nobody saw that, right? Hi Marcel, I'm using um, a head mounted magnifier with additional lenses on it. This is the best camera setup I have for now, but I'm hoping to improve it with something that can see much more detail. Well, finding the uh, stem release was easier than I expected. There's a little hole there with a plunger in it. And pressing that released it, no problem. So for now, I'm having difficulty undoing this screw here. Partly, it's been tricky to find a screwdriver that will fit. Apparently at least seems very stubbornly fitted in. I 
and that's because it's a left-handed thread. So this is, this is the wheel I just removed from the top that engaged with the stem gear there. And it has, this is upside down now, it has a, a round hole in the middle, which fitted over this hub here. But this hub is oval in shape, like an eye which was how that, that wheel was able to shift backwards and forwards. And I think it was held against the wheel on the mainspring arbor by the force of the click, which is just here. But doesn't seem to want to come out yet. Oh no, there it is. So there's the click. Click spring is just here. And I am terrified of moving that because it's really small. And the whole thing is filthy. So I can see three obvious bridges here. But I've forgotten how to work out which is called which. There's this bridge here, which is holding most of the gear train in place. This bridge here, which is holding the barrel in, so I guess is the barrel bridge. And then this here, which is holding the balance wheel. The balance bridge, let's go with that. And I think I'm going to have to remove this bridge here first. So I'm going to get the loop and I'm going to have a really good look around to make sure I'm not going to break anything before I start. And then I'm going to try and remove that. In fact, I'm going to take a really good quality photo close to that 
at this point. And that highlights that there is a, looks like there's a washer on top of this. No, it's just an illusion. So there are only two screws, so I'm going to start work on them. I've made a pretty big mess of the smallest of my watchmaker screwdrivers already. Due no, in no short part to the fact that they were very cheap. I guess I'm learning why watchmakers don't use very cheap screwdrivers. So there's the bridge. Just have a careful look to ensure the jewels haven't come away. Four jewels still in place.
There's no sign that they want to come away now. So I'm looking at the other side, see if there's anything that goes through the watch that holds things in place. And it looks like there may well be. Oh, that's a lot of corrosion, which is kind of fine. This is an experiment on a serious repair job. Yes, what's he got? So the increasingly obvious downside of this watch is that it also had face complications for telling the date, which is making it less simple to learn how to, to disassemble. So if I assume that something has to be removed from the face in order to proceed, then the most obvious thing would be this rather shiny section here. I don't know if that's a bridge or something else. It's the only obvious feature which is screwed in place.
There's a wheel here which turns, which was engaged with the wheel that I just removed from the centre. Put the click away before it goes adrift. So the wheels here look very much as though they're connected with moving the date wheel. Trying to very gently move some of the corrosion and gunk all out of the way. And I think that may have recovered a screw there. So I'm going to remove the shiny bridge. Uh, it does not want to come out. Thank you for the tip, Peter. Um, I'm going to have to look up what the Canon pinion is because I'm very new. The term is familiar, but I can't remember what it is. So it looks as though the cannon pinion is going to be on the front. I've already removed one wheel there, but I can't tell whether that was it or not. I 
if I'm going to remove anything more from the front, I'm going to need to remove this shiny metal part. And the second screw holding that in place appears to be embedded in rust. It's currently defeating my attempts to remove it. End of the screwdrivers got very mashed up. I'm gonna have to clean it. Yeah, I think I think that is the one that I've already removed. But I suspect even if that was what had been holding it, the rust and corrosion that's around has got to be still a problem. Thank you for the help though. Much appreciated. I appear to have dislodged the escapement wheel, which is now floating around. So I probably haven't done this in a good order.
So I've taken the bearers off these screwdrivers, or at least one of them. That's far too large. It's okay, Marcel, I don't mind. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that to move with just force because the amount of force I can put it on is extremely limited. working out a way to safely mount the movement is also very tricky. And the escapement wheel has just fallen out entirely. Okay, I have that now held. I'm a little bit scared of putting anything. Thank you very much, Peter. Okay, so yeah, I can see what is definitely a big steel pinion 
and I'm going to guess that is the, the Canon Pinion. It's currently looks as though it's attached to the wheel underneath, which is under a whole bunch of other features. And there's rust everywhere. But particularly particularly this screw which I've been trying to, to remove for the last 10 months or so just here which looks as though it's rusted into place Try and get a better view of that. I'm sorry about the focus, I cannot get it to do something sane. I think that's as close as I can get. So the stuck screw is there. So my hope of this ever being running again is diminishing, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop because in a sense that justifies picking this watch if it's uh, beyond repair. So I'm going to get some uh, rust dissolving solution and put well, some very tiny drops on there. Marcel, I doesn't, don't think this is anything like a, uh, a large photocopier.
I have some uh, rust remover in a saucer and a toothpick to transfer droplets. One for the screw there, and one for the pinion. Peter, you mentioned that it's friction fitted. Do you think that means that it's friction fitted onto the um, the wheel underneath, and I will I should be able to remove it? Or do you think I will have to move, remove the pinion and the wheel underneath it at the same time, attached together? Unfortunately, I won't see your reply for a bit because of the stream latency. I'm putting a decent sized drop of rust dissolver on that all over that pinion, including trying to get some down the hole in the middle. And over here while we're at it. That is working astoundingly well.
but it's not encouraging the screw to come out. Ah, the train bridge. Thank you for correcting me on that term. I contemplated putting the bridge back, but um, now that the escapement wheel has come out, I'm not going to. And the screw is out. And the cannon pin has come off. Yeah, there was a, thank you, Peter. There was a reasonable amount of friction, but it, I think most of the problem was down to the rust. I don't think I've bent anything. So there is a lot more rust here. So let's have some more rust remover liquid. I now feel under pressure to get this apart quicker than I was going to, so that I can get all this 
rinsed off. Thank you for coming, Marcel, and thank you for your comments. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So the center wheel hasn't dropped out quite yet. I checked for that straight away. There may be a lot more corrosion embedded around it. There we go, it's lifting out. And it's free. And the next wheel is lifted out as well. So I now have a decision to make. If I'm going to continue at the back here, I now have the barrel bridge with the barrel still in it. The remaining wheel is now underneath the barrel bridge. Or I could lift out the balance bridge. And I think as Peter has been so helpful so far, I'm gonna to wait to see if he has a suggestion.
balance bridge it is. Before I do that, I'm going to lift whatever pieces come away easily from the face side. So I suspect the calendar ring should lift at this point, but uh, it's sticked, stuck at this side, and I think that's probably just stuck by all the corrosion. So YouTube is very worried that you might be using bad language, so it um, is trying to moderate you. So I've made you a moderator yourself. And one more pinion came out. And the remaining center wheel. to get my balance tack ready for this.
there's two screws here. I can't quite see with the naked eye what they attach. One seems to go through the barrel bridge and the balance bridge. And there we are. Nothing obvious wrong with the escapement. I'm going to have to double check where the pallet fork is. Yeah, the pallet fork seems fine. Well, it was before I did that.
One pallet fork. So one of the screws holding the um, barrel bridge I've removed already. And there's two more. took almost no power to remove. A huge difference in the amount of difficulty in getting the screws out. So I was busy thinking about how careful I must be to not dislodge the click spring. I was so busy being careful that I just knocked it on the floor. There is the barrel. And the final wheel. And the two parts of the winding stem of apparatus just lift out as well.
Let's take a photo of those in situ. There's no longer much visible on the top that needs to come out. Experiment on this side still, which was covered by the calendar ring, mostly related to the stem. And plenty of corrosion. I think I have taken apart enough for one day. I've reached the point of having learned quite a lot about the sort of generics of that. The keyless works, thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Peter, and for everybody else that came along. I hope my uh, inept fumbling wasn't too much for anybody to cope with. Let me know how the audio was. I'm hoping the audio was fairly reasonable. I know the video was pretty terrible. I am working on that. Thank you very much, Peter. I really, really appreciated your help. That was uh, invaluable. I don't think I'd have got nearly as far without it. But I think it's time for me to stop. Make some quick notes about what is what before I forget. And then get some sleep. Thanks very much again and see you next time.